are uh, we're speed running. We're speed running. <laughs> no, we're not. But by yes, the way, the speed run time on this game is two and a half hours, full completion. That's insane. <laughs> which is only like ten minutes longer than the not full completion one, which means there's an efficient path to just do everything without taking any extra time. Like yep. just just grabbing the parts you need at the right point. <laughs> And then carrying them through the optimal path. That includes stars? Yeah, that if full insane. completion includes stars. That means that if you know what to do, you can uh, do all the stars. So yeah, that that uh, wire appeared to control that door. So let's see what's behind what's behind that door. It's an emancipation grid. And a fan that will blow things big. It will fire, I assume, break that wood? Yeah, I guess. I have no idea. <laughs> but, or or something? Like, go yeah, look but at it how, would I, how would I put things up here, though? I don't know. I, there was, well, there was another fan here. Oh, right, yeah. So you would just grab it. So presumably, Wait. then, I need to put a box... On this. And then stand on this? No, that... Uh, hold on, go back out. What's this do? That's what I want you to go back out for. Follow the wire. It uh, opens that door. Oh, okay. That's the solution. Out. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh! You oh. need to fire a box into that so it will break the wood. No, it, it won't. It's just going to hit the wood and fall on the switch. Oh, right? yeah, no, sorry, yeah. That's that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what we want. But how to get a box... Yes. Is that... Right. Now we have to get the blue up here. Yeah, i got to somehow get the blue lizard shot in there. And I actually don't need this block anymore. No, because that was just your way around. Uh, I assume you can do it from up here? No? Uh, if it's on the box, maybe? I don't know what's I'm hoping. It doesn't look like it, honestly. Oh, yeah, just barely. You got ah, it. got it. That wasn't so bad. Nope. done with this world. Yeah, let's see. Like the it. stars, but mm, fuck that. Yep. Yeah, we're done. Oop. No, that was boop. just uh, that was boops in the normal music. Okay. I I heard it too. All right, so we got three more in this world. Are there eight or seven? I think there's seven. I'll I'll double check when we're done here. Yeah. Faith. All right, dearest brother, I admit I'm finding it very difficult to believe in a loving God in these circumstances. Why would a loving God inflict such pain and suffering on the good, kind people? If truly there was, uh, or, uh, sorry, if truly there is a personal God, how can he be the same God who will subject those children to such an unbearable, to such unbearable pain? I remember all the answers we were taught, and yet none of them seem believable now. I don't want to stand in front of people and preach something that I don't feel in my heart. Uh, better to have doubts than to be a hypocrite. And yet I also cannot deny the experience that led me to this vocation. So what is the truth? Perhaps it is that I neglected the mystery of God, he, uh, the mystery of God used he moves in mysterious ways as an excuse rather than as the terrifying acknowledgement it truly is. Perhaps <laughs> I made God too human. Uh, good game. <laughs> Mediocre game, actually. Yeah, too human is uh, alright. If uh, the universe has proposed, uh, if the universe has a purpose, uh, that does not mean that it revolves around us. A sobering thought, but are we not supposed to be humble in the face of the divine? Uh, with love, so like. But yeah, I. That's why I always liked. Uh, I always 
thought of polytheism was always better because you, you have multiple gods then bad things happen because some gods are assholes yeah exactly like, rather oh, than one god oh doing it all. damn you loki <laughs> yeah right? exactly. you can blame it on the individual ones and that's yeah, like those problems but when you make an all-powerful god who knows everything and has a plan then fuck that guy yeah <laughs> he no. made bad things happen it's like who wax, who wax and wane, or when Kelsey punches God. Yeah. When he first sees him, it's like... I, I punch God. Yeah, it's like, yeah. why, what is wrong with you? <laughs> All right. Thank you, email. Uh, dear Alexander, as we approach the end, I want to let you know how much I appreciate this chance to finish my work on Soma Talos. My faith makes death a far less frightening prospect than it is for others. I know we have all died many times before... But the thought of leaving the work unfinished did weigh on me. For having released me from this, that burden, I will forever be thankful to you, even if our attempt itself fails. Though there are trillions of worlds beyond this one, I hope we meet again in another life. So this guy, this person uh -huh. believes in uh, rebirth. Yeah. Meet you again at the bonfire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Humans. I'm going to be fine, because I'm a motherfucking ghost. <laughs> I'm a ghost. All right, if all the machines were to be annihilated at one moment so that not a knife nor a lever nor a rag of clothing nor anything whatsoever were left to man but his bare body alone and that he, that he was born with, and if all the knowledge of mechanical laws were taken from him so that he could, not make, so that he could make no more machines, and all machine-made... Uh, yeah. Food. All machine made food destroyed so that the race of man should be left as it as it were naked upon a desert island. Uh, we should become extinct in six weeks. A few miserable individuals might linger, but even these in a year or two will become worse than monkeys. Man's very soul is due to the machines uh, yeah, due to the machines. It is a machine made thing. He thinks uh, as he thinks and feels as he feels through the work that machines have wrought upon him. And their existence is quite as much a uh, sine qua. Sine qua? Yeah, I, I don't know. know. But for his. Uh, In his for life, that, yeah. As his for that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, like the first, the first man to just pick up a stick and then stab the lion <laughs> it was you know it's you do you don't want to die yet so you come up with something and then you don't die and then you just uh, teach everyone else how to do that and then someone else comes up with another way not to die and then you have a million ways not to die yeah and you end up with this you end up with a couple of assholes playing video games <laughs> A TV show, A Thousand Ways to Die. Yes. Look, it's a dragon. Mm -hmm. This is all ego, isn't it? Recording these random thoughts, these letters to the future. Just a desperate grab for immortality. Yeah, we're trying to do that. Yes, this was my idea, my project. But so many people helped. People I don't even know. People I haven't even met who can do things I don't even begin to understand. But if we succeeded, if someone's listening to this... I really can't take credit for it. What we achieved, we achieved together. And if we fail, well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. Tomato, tomato. Elohim talks about how the world arose from hidden words. What if those words were, let there be eternal suffering? What if they had no purpose? What if all of this is just random synthesized from the garbage of a dead world? Ready to listen to those. Uh, I'm going to try and get it on the right side. Okay. There you go. Our purpose can only be achieved by contemplating, by not contemplating purpose. Samsara. The bitter, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, skeptic sure, one. I'm sure it's a reference to some philosopher. Probably. But I have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's do this puzzle. All right. We're dealing with time and beams. And, and jammer. jammer. Well, let's do first things first. Let's jam that door and see what's on the other side. Oh! What? Oh, God. Is this like one we've done before, or am I remembering this? We did this before, yes. Okay, good. We did one very similar to this. And, the, yeah. It was blocks that time, though. 
Yeah, but we have to create enough versions of things to get all the way through. And I remember the solution was like pull a fan blade off and use it as a weight the first time. Yeah, it was. Because it was like, what? I, I'm one object short. How does this work? Okay. Oh, yeah, interesting thing. Yeah, so do that again. Just a second. Uh, there. My other suggestion was that jammer can jam the door behind it, so nothing actually has to be left behind. But, uh... So we still have to get this. Because the door... Yeah. So the door behind the jammer doesn't have the button. Yeah. You could point... Because... The, you're, right now, you're pointing the jammer at the door that it's opening by standing on a button. So oh, yeah. if you point the jammer behind you at that door, then maybe we can move the um, beam up. Well, we could put it to here, but... Yeah, no, no, that's, that's what... Okay, so take the jammer off and jam that door. Take the beam... No, like, like take the jammer right off of the button. Off the button? Yeah. Because we want this beam on that button, so we don't we don't need a beam for the outside door because we can jam it. Yes. So the beam can be on that button, holding that door open and opening the next one. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't put it directly in the path of the beam, but. So now we're gonna see. <laughs> So, what can the fake us do now? Uh, One of us can open this door. We've got a jammer and a beam to use when we do it. Yeah. And so, two so more switches. So. If, we, if we create a fake us standing here, then we come with the real one and just grab the two objects and use them as weights. And yeah. we get through. Yeah, you're right. So we've done. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, unless there's some sort of curveball, but... Sprint button now. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> speed run. <laughs> speed run. It's the worst speed run you've ever seen. But see, when normal people playing a video game go speed run, that's LP. That's LP speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's it's fair. it's don't, you know, we uh, don't want to play this game forever. We don't need two hundred hours of this. No, we're not game crumbs. Uh but yeah, okay, so we this grab that, first. yep, and uh, put that there. Oh, oh whoops. That and now grab that. the beam. Oh, yes, that's true. See if you would run. <laughs> oh, oh, no. There's one more. Okay, so you need the, the beam, this beam to be beaming. So we ran out of time. And you might have to reset now, because we, we might be trapped unless there's a ladder somewhere. They curveballed us. Yeah. Oops. Well, I, I mean, they didn't really... No, you can't jump over. If there's no ladder, hey, you'll have to reset. Okay. I think there is not a ladder. Yeah, well, there's yeah. But we, we had it right. We, you just didn't give yourself enough time. Okay. Because all you had to do was connect the beam. Yeah, where what exactly the way it was, uh, so yeah, it was open this door, go through, jam it from the other side. Although I guess actually the side didn't really matter, but yeah, and well, no, you got to connect it to that, right? And then the next one, you just have to turn before you place I it. Wonder. No. Yeah, you're right. We we already had it. Don't fix what's not broken. We already now saw. Now we gotta it. go record it and. Yeah. Place now, it now here. we do. You do the same thing. Just make sure with when you place the second beam, you connect it. Now, is the laser gonna be able to shoot through invisible guy though? I assume. Okay. So connect it to. Did you this one? you did it? You were doing it. Yeah. You just ran out of time. Yeah. Yeah, because where it was, it could it could see and hold the button and then you know, everything that needed to be done. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I need to get to... Because you, you jammed it, then you got the beam to that last button, which could see this previous beam and the 
the beam to hold the door open that that last that what we thought was the last button mm. opens can be opened by the beam and then you can uh place the um well no i think i want to go with the i want to go with the jammer first yeah and then bring the beam to that last section yeah that's what i'm saying I, the, I'm, when I say the last, I mean the last one that we had gotten to yeah. is the only one where you can see the door from. Okay. So I'll switch back in. But I, I so don't know. The there, there might be... Or the jammer first. Grab the jammer. Because you need the jammer to get the beam through. Yes. So, so now you need the beam. Okay, so now... Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Because I need this. Yes. Hopefully you left enough time. Yep. Got, Got it. it. And then blue beams for stars. Yep. And then I can run back this way. Yeah, that gate at the back probably opened. Yep. All right. Craziness. Puzzles, man. Oh, look, message in a bottle. I wonder how many of us there have been. Cheap version 69.1.3756. 3,756 of just cheap. That's insane. <laughs> so I get, oh, there's a message there. There is no reality. Words lie. Images are soldiers in the dictatorship of the senses. Even those words are part of my oppression. Undo the brain. Everything should be demolished. This is my dream. Mine. It must obey my rules. I refuse to accept your reality. Blah. All right. Someone's going crazy. Let's do a puzzle. All right. Cir beams and boxes. Circumlocution? Yep. That's a... That's what it looked like it said. <laughs> Blue laser. All right. Well, put it on that button and let's explore. I'm just going to grab this for shits and giggles. Sure. Okay. So there's so, the there's that. All right. So there's the jammer. Let's uh, in a box. Let's jam that door and explore. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we need to, uh, that might get us that box soon as. We need There's to assemble another laser and another refractor. We need to assemble our tools. Oh, another refractor. And I need the blue laser to get this box. Another peephole. And wow, this is a long one. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, okay, so so what do we have right now? So we've got a blue here. That. Now turn around for a second. Okay, that one does open with blue. Yes, you are correct in what you are doing. I'm just going to do this. Mm -hmm. and I, to, I assume I need the box to... Now pop uh, that and that. I assume I need the box to... To uh, hold that door open. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we so got a box. Now you've got a box, and which will free the jammer. And allow us to continue. How does this one get open? There's no... Peoples. That's probably a jammer door, actually. It's probably a red herring. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I believe the box frees the jammer. Ooh, it blocks the beam. Now can... Uh, no. Okay, hold on. Can you just uh, place that beam a little further to, like, the right? Probably. And still get that door open? Let's go to the left. Sure, why not? Yeah. All right, we're yep. fine. All right, the jammer is released, uh, and we're through these two doors. So I can bring this one around now. Yes, and we can unjam that, which should give us access to something. No. The peephole. That's the peephole we already... Hmm. I wonder if I can use that peephole, though. Can oh, you... Okay. Uh, Epitaph, child program version 1.1.0000, codename Sam, terminated here, logic, seriously unfit for purpose, final memory dump. Ah! That appears to be Elohim just killing one of them. Yeah, because it didn't get any uh, Unfit for purpose. 
Oh, yeah. Is the reason for deletion. And its its final thought was, ow. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, so I think... So I can you can jam just... that through the peephole, or can you get the blue through that peephole? Let's... Yeah, I'm thinking the blue, probably. I can probably do both. So if but I do here... this, this, can I also do this? Yes. Excellent. Let's do the next star. One I think step at a time. Laser. Another refractor. Yeah, so we've got another. Oh, yeah, and can we get. Is there a. Yes, excellent. I love it when a plan comes together. So we got All right, so this bomb is stationary, and Which we point? need to jam it. Huh. Star. Yeah. Pay no attention to the star. And a fucking blue laser. Yes, we will need almost certainly to jam the bomb because that's the only thing that can stop a bomb. Yeah. Other than running it into a gun. So how do we get the jammer to the end should be our next step, I think. Well, let's... Hmm. Because we a would hard need part a because... blue here. But only long enough to get the jammer to the other side of the door. That's true. Okay, there's work no, backwards. There's, yeah, there's no beams. So we got to the end, but we're we're ahead of the we're too far ahead. Yeah. So we need this open. We need a blue over here only long enough to um, get it, get that door open. Yeah, get the jammer through and lock it from the other side. Is there not another one? No. Oh shit. That is that is all of them. So okay. can we get the blue? Like, we don't need... Where's the blue come from? Comes from down here. Okay, so we do need this one basically where it is. But what... A, can we get to the... Yeah, let's see if I can get a refractor on no, that no, side. The, yeah, but don't touch this one. No, no, I'm not going to touch this one. Now go grab this. that one and see if it you can... But it opens that door. So take the jammer as it is right now. Yeah. And, and hold that door open. From this side. No, but when we take it away, the door will close. Oh wait, no, but we're just this is just to get it through the peephole. So yeah, grab that and then get the power through that peephole. In fact, did we even need to jam that door open now that I think of it? Yes, we did. I'm like that guy from Final Space. Did I do do I? Did I? Yes, I, I did. did. So uh, now yeah. Because now I need to set this up again. Otherwise. Yeah, so now reset everything the way it was, but the jammer is through the door that can't be powered while all the other doors were powered. Oh, shit. So now you just need to make it how it was before. I can't. How? Uh, why? Unless... Because uh, as soon as I remove one of these two refractors, this door's going to close. Okay. Uh, what is the door you're jamming open right now? The one that lets me go back a room. Hold on. Uh, go, get, uh, remove it for a second, let me look at it. Like, uh, just go, go jam the door, that door. Okay. And uh, just show me what, what, what we're looking at. Uh, okay. But, oh, wait, I got an idea. Uh-huh. Yes, can you see? Yes, it, you absolutely can. Yeah. So now just jam that door, like you were. And then you should be able to immediately unjam it. Yep. Uh, okay. So now we need the blue here again. So th there is like one beam that's now redundant. Off to the... That, that was holding that door open. Like, the... All right, isn't there? No. Yeah. Is that not the first beam? You know what I need to do? No, uh, do it's like... Is, oh, wait. Shit. Yeah, hit... No, I, I think we're looking at only two... Isn't there a beam like right here? Yeah. Yeah, this one is grabbing the... Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, never mind. Wait. What? Shit. What would this help? I was gonna say... Uh, that wait, was the wait, one wait, wait, delivering wait. power to this one. Yes, I got an idea though. Okay. Yeah, there... Oh, yeah, there you go. This one's rough. Yeah. Like, a, shooting lasers back through their own doors. At this and point. don't fucking stand on one of those beams too long. Because if it turns off... So, we still need to get a beam in here now. Yes. 
But I believe we have a peephole for that. If you turn around. You know what? You know. Oh no, one. that's a peephole into nowhere though. I need to do this. Uh huh. Grab this one now. Right. Yes. And now we can put the jammer on that bomb and work safely. Yep. And uh, it's probably in the way. Yeah. There we go. Now I grab this. And now this. that should be fine. That should be the same. Yeah, I think we got it. Wow, Excellent. that was super hard. Well, we'll we'll save the word super hard for the one that makes us quit. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right, let's get uh, out of here. Yeah, let's go. Skip the stairs. I'll deal with those later. Yeah, speed run. Any completion. <laughs> Any completion. Well, like tower completion. <laughs> speed run. Yeah, I want to go through the big complete, door as well. Complete normal worlds and tower. Well, yeah. And if they're if they're not mutually exclusive. Yeah, that's gonna be the hard part. Is if they are. Well, I mean, it'll be your decision. Our tower. Are we in a puzzle right now? We are. Okay. I didn't look at the title. Neither did I. Uh, so I have no idea what it's about. Bombs and jammers and death, presumably. Yes, but I mean, it, it always helps to know what tools. <laughs> So we need keys. There's another jammer. Mm -hmm. That uh, gun looks like it'll have a switch to it. Mm, I think the bombs are good the way they are. That's not the bombs that I'm worried about. Oh, my other jammer. Okay. Yep. So if I have the other jammer, I might be able to do. Oh yeah, I I think this is the definitely. It's uh, always good to bring your tools with you. Just wait for him. Because is it just the gun? Okay, so we've jammed the gun. Now the gun had a cord coming from it. So is there a switch? Follow the cord. Oh shit! I can't. There's another gun. Okay. okay. I need so to get the, the other cord jammer. Cord is around. I need to bring both jammers yeah. through. And then we will likely get to a switch that will let us take that jammer that you just put down. Yeah. Flip that switch. And now you can take this jammer. Always leapfrog your tools as best as you can. And is that, that just it? No, oh, that's the keys. keys. All right. So let's take the jammers back to that hallway. Yes. Uh, and see a man about some keys. <laughs> see, see a gate. All right. Open, open. Okay. All right. There's a gun. Guns. And we go. And is it as simple as that, or is there another step behind that wall? Let's find out. Uh, that might be. It, it is looks as like simple that's the as that. Go get it. That wasn't so bad. Nope. 